Okay, so something I've discovered in the last two weeks of parking here in Abbotsford uh, while I've been working is that you can't park in the parks. They all have gates on them, and they all shut the gates down around midnight. I get uh, maintenance vans driving around me with their lights flashing and their horns honking and stuff like that, so I can't park in the parks in Abbotsford like a new thing. Um, I, when I found this street that I normally park on, but vehicles pass by every two minutes at a very standard rate, a very surprisingly standard rate uh, for, you know, all night, uh, even at three or four o'clock in the morning. I still have vehicles passing me every couple minutes. Like this. That's one car passing. This is another car about to pass. I'm on Queen Street. Do you see these vehicles stopping anywhere? Are they going to work? No. They're just driving down the fucking street. I'm trying to make a video about today's encounter and I get fucking vehicles on a regular basis driving past me again. So uh, tonight I found a dead end street two blocks away from where I work and uh, it seems like there was uh, a business slightly active. I mean, um, for the first 10 minutes I was parked there, there was nothing, it was totally quiet. And then all of a sudden two vehicles both came in within five minutes of each other and parked with their headlights towards me, uh, facing me on on a 45 degree angle from the business that they're at. Uh, Some weird fucking shit going on here. Both these vans have parked facing directly to me. Like, uh, on a 45 degree angle from the building. Uh, that didn't bother me. I went to sleep, and uh, I slept for a good solid six and a half to seven hours before this happened. <sighs> Hello? Sorry to wake you. How are you doing? Uh, I'm being woken in the middle of the night by the police. How can I help you? Okay. Well, we just uh, had a couple of complaints about the vehicle being parked here. Just wanted to make sure that you're okay. Uh, does it look like it? Well, it looks like they're sleeping, but we just need to make sure that everyone's safe. Is it just you in the vehicle? Yes, it is. Who, who called the complaint? I'm sleeping. How can I possibly be doing anything to make anybody complain? We just, you know, we're not sure about who's in the vehicle. How can we know, right? Unless we check, so... I have a long history of vehicle dwelling. You could check my license plate before you actually wake somebody up. We have. Okay, so what are you doing? Just well, making sure that you're okay. Your windows are open, so we don't know if you're, if there's someone in the car, if it's left insecure, what the deal is, right? I'm sure you can appreciate us looking, at, looking out for your vehicle as well. Right? Can I? It's quarter to four in the morning, guys. Sorry? It's quarter to four in the morning. You realize this, right? Yeah, and you're parked in an industrial area. The I'm parked at the end of a road, quietly. Yeah. Haven't been doing anything wrong. Well, how do we know that unless we talk to you? Uh, I think that's pretty reasonable, right? What kind of complaint have you gotten? A vehicle with its windows rolled down that normally isn't here at the dead end of an industrial park. Okay, did it ever so occur to you that maybe I got a job around here? Well, again, we don't know that unless we talk to you, right? <sighs> So why don't you talk to me during the day? Why? It's quarter to four in the morning. That has nothing to do with anything. Yes, it is. It's the middle of the night and I'm trying to sleep for work tomorrow, guys. You're a grown man. Okay? You're harassing me no, while I'm trying to sleep. Job. If you don't want to get stopped by the police or checked in the middle of an industrial park at 4 a.m., don't park in an industrial park at 4 a.m. 
<coughs> it's very reasonable for us to come and talk I'm, to someone. I am on a street, a public street. No, I'm not sitting in a public, I'm not sitting in a private industrial parking lot. I'm parked on a public street here. In you a, just woke me up at quarter to four in the morning. We have dozens of break-ins in this area a week. Okay, okay? And this car is not even from Abbotsford, it's from Vancouver. So <coughs> how do we know that the person inside this car isn't committing a crime unless we talk to them? Uh, because I've been doing this for a good solid two weeks now in Abbotsford. Because you guys have seen me doing this for a good solid two weeks in Abbotsford. Every time I met you. Well, you guys you. have rolled up on me at least five or six times in the last two weeks. So first you know what I've been doing. You've been keeping you. records. It is the first time that I have met you. I've never seen your face before and I've never seen this car before. It is very reasonable for us to come talk to you. Okay. In the middle of the night. Yes, at all hours of the day. We work 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Again, if you don't want to get talked to by the police, you know, don't park in an area in a place where people are probably going to notice and call the police. Okay. Where should I park then? I don't know. Lots of other parking lots that you could probably go to. This isn't a parking lot. This is a street. Yeah, in an this area. is a, a public area. street. Again, we're going in circles, okay? Yeah, I'm asking you guys straight up, where the hell can I park around here so that I can actually get some sleep and not be bothered? You can park right here. You can, that's fine to park uh, here, but unless... Apparently, can... I'm going to get complaints and bothered. Well, we can't stop people from calling the police and saying, hey, check on check on this car. <laughs> Look, you're an adult. You're putting yourself in this scenario. I see you got a YouTube channel. Right? Yeah. I, I, get, I get what you're doing. This is what I've been doing for four years yeah, of my life. You're looking for police interaction to come come challenge you, and you probably want to challenge us back and put it on YouTube. No problem. But no. Then, I'm please. trying to sleep so I can go to work two blocks away. Okay. That's what I'm doing right here. Alright. No I, 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 I've been woken up at quarter to four in the morning yeah. for doing absolutely nothing but sleeping. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're getting woken up at four in the morning because someone called the police and we want to come talk to you. For what? Was I running around raving like a lunatic? Was I checking out and scoping out places so that I could go steal or something? Yeah. No, I was sleeping. Why are we going in circles? I just explained this to you. I've asked you, how can I correct this? How do I not have to deal with you guys? How do I not have to get complaints? Maybe. And you just told me, I don't know. Well, I'm trying to explain it to you. So, what does this area look like to you? It looks like a dead end road where I'm not going to have traffic okay. running by me every two minutes. Building wise, what kind of a zone does this look like? It looks like the industrial zone okay. two blocks so, away from where I work. So, and you see what's going on here? Yeah, I do. What's going on there? It looks like they got some kind of company going on over yeah. there. So there's people coming and going, right? So, Occasionally. So these people probably work here regularly, Monday to Friday, I would imagine, or they work the graveyard shift. It looks like it's open 24-7. Okay, so the people that work there, they would be familiar with what cars normally are in the area, what vehicles are normally in the area, and which ones are not, right? Okay. So if they see one that they don't normally recognize, or it's not normally here, what do you think they're going to do? Wonder why there's a strange vehicle around. Yeah. And how would they deal with it? However they, they deal, deal with it. Yeah, they would call the police. No, this is the first time in a long time I've had the police called on me just because I'm parked. Okay. All right, cool. I'm not going to go around in circles. Have a good night. You're welcome to park here and do whatever you want to do. Just remember, there's a 72-hour parking bylaw in Abbotsford. So if we come back 72 hours from now, the vehicle's still here. Your vehicle can get towed. Or I understand that. Okay, have a good night. D do you have any suggestions on where a valid place to park is? You're an adult with a cell phone. I think you can figure that one out. I've actually been trying to for two weeks and I get you guys waking me up at quarter to four. Have a good night, Benjamin. What the hell?
Well, they want to do some research is what they want. I see. Don't worry, guys. You're going to go on YouTube. Just. Okay, just so that, um, just so you can see, that's the parking lot of a Mennonite church. This is actually a business, but it's closed. This is a dead end street, as you can see. My windows are not all the way open like the officer claimed, they're only open to crack for air. You can obviously see, this looks like a home. This does not look like. <laughs> A, th a thief is scoping to steal from a business. And look, this is a very active business now at 4 o'clock in the morning. It wasn't like this when I parked here at 9 o'clock and went to sleep. It was actually really quiet in comparison. So now as I'm leaving, I've just had an Abbotsford police vehicle turn around and now they're doubling back to follow me. This is a different Abbotsford police vehicle. This is a car rather than an SUV.